Damn, guys, Michael Edward here, head trader to Trading Group, and June 21st, I am relieved. Relieved. If you guys have not watched my last two previous videos, please go back and watch them where I entered a swing trade on put options on Beyond Meat. Um, it's been a very, very stressful trade, one of the more stressful trades I've been in in a while. Um, and I really, really recommend you go back and watch my last two previous videos, one when I entered the trade, another one when I added to the position, and then today we're going to recap this trade. I'm coming out of here with a total combined um, gain of 164%. Um, I bought two different put options, uh, the June 21st expiration, so today's expiration, 150 strikes and 160 strikes and when you add the gains together from both of them 164 percent gain so um please go back and watch the previous videos guys it'll like i said it'll give you context and it'll give you reference on this trade what i was thinking about the analysis you know why and, and all that so let's get to the to the chart real quick guys we'll get to the daily chart we had this big um reversal candle this big sell-off the crack in the short squeeze and this is the day that i caught the 82 percent gain on those put options that was three videos ago if you haven't seen that video go check that one out that was a, that was a pretty cool trade um, and then over the next two days these two days right in here okay I went back and I bought put options again on this day I bought the 150 strikes and on this day I bought the 160 strikes um, and I was looking for this 160 level to break okay you look at this 160 level guys as I, as I pan out the chart you can see this previous support then we had the gap up on the 17th we held support at the low at 160 then the day that we cracked we held support at the low of 160 and then the next day in the morning we had the sell-off we held support at 160 you can see we just were not able to break below this support level I was playing this trade after this huge crack here's where I caught that was the 82 percent gain on the put options on the day that we cracked that was the move that I caught um, and I'm playing this, guys, for a break below 160 to eventually fill this gap. Okay, this gap right here to 150. So from the day we gapped up right here on the 17th, I'm looking to fill the gap and close it down at 150. That was the game plan this entire time on this trade. Okay, that was the plan the entire time on this trade was if we break below that level, I think we flush down to 150. Okay, so... After the huge crack and sell-off day on the 18th, I thought we were going to get some further momentum and further downside on Beyond Meat. So on the 19th, on this day right here, I bought the 150 strike June 21st expiration put options for $2.05 a contract. Okay, but you guys can see we did not break 160 that day. Okay, we just consolidated and traded sideways. Then yesterday... OK, we gapped up because of news that the company expanded their partnership with Del Taco. Now, I got a little unlucky there. OK, I got a little unlucky there with that gap up. But what you start to notice is how key of a resistance area this 174, 174, 50 is. OK, it was this previous low the day that it had the big crack. And after we broke down below it, we tried it back in the afternoon, stuffed resistance. Tried it back again right before the close, stuffed resistance. Then we opened up on the 19th, stuffed resistance, sold it off. So then the, yesterday we have the gap up on the Del Taco news, and guess what? Stuffed resistance. So once this happened, I'm deep underwater on my 150 strike price because we're all the way up at 173. We're so far from my 150 strike price, and I'm running out of time. Okay, I'm running out of time. And that's the thing about when you're trading options. It's not enough to just be right about the direction. You have to be right on the timing because there's something called extrinsic value or also called time value that factors into the price of an option. Okay, I'm going to get into that with you guys. This is a great video. I actually have an options course that is coming out for July 4th um, that teaches and explains options. So if you guys are new to it, this is the timing of this trade is actually perfect. So we can actually get into that options course. Uh, we already have stock trading courses on the website, beginner and advanced course that I wrote myself. And now we've got the options course that is going to be coming out in just a couple of weeks. Um, so I'm going to go over some of that stuff with you guys. I'm going to go over some basic fundamental options stuff in this video with you and talk about extrinsic versus intrinsic value. Um, picking strike prices, expirations, and, and how to go about managing um, trades with different options, okay, because I had two different options. So 
I got a little lucky, a uh, little unlucky on, on yesterday when we had the news about of the Del Taco expansion and we gapped up. So I need to reevaluate my trade at this point. I'm deep underwater on the 150s because, like I said, the, the contracts expire tomorrow, which is today. Okay, and we're far away from my 150s, but we sold off aggressively off that resistance level. So that resistance level showed me yesterday it's very much still intact, that even with news, we're not able to break through it. And you had, again, a heavy sell-off that took you where? Right down into this support level that I've been waiting for it to have break. So I went ahead yesterday and I bought the one, I kind of like averaged my position down and I kind of hedged myself a little bit, by, but I added risk to the trade by buying the 160 strikes. Okay, so yesterday I bought the 160 strike June 21st expiration for $2.75 a contract. Okay, so again, that's the video from yesterday when I added to, the, to this position. I, so now I'm holding the 150 strikes and I'm holding the 160 strikes looking for us to break below 160. But you can see yesterday we did not break below 160. We just traded sideways and consolidated the entire day. And it was very, very, very frustrating because now I'm running out of time. The time value and the extrinsic value on these contracts is starting to deteriorate because of something called time decay. And that is the closer that an option gets to its expiration date, time value will work its way to zero. Okay. The way that the pricing of an option works, and this is just basic stuff, okay, is Intrinsic value is when you're the option of the stock is trading above the strike price if it's a call option or if the uh, stock is trading below the strike price on a put option. OK, it's called being the options called in the money. So the intrinsic value is how much how much in the money that contract is. OK, so both of these contracts were out of the money when I bought them. So it was a very risky trade on my part. Because the only thing making up the value of those contracts is extrinsic value, which factors in how volatile the stock is, how big of, of a move, how big of moves the stock makes, and how much time is left until the stock, um, until the contract expires. Because the more time that's left, the more chance the stock has to make a move towards the strike price. As, as you get closer to the expiration, you're running out of time for the stock to make its move. So that time value starts to de deteriorate, and that's called time decay. Okay. So yesterday afternoon, I was really stressing this trade. If you watch my video from yesterday, I was, I was, you know, it was a very, very frustrating trade. We just couldn't break that level. But then yesterday after the close, CNBC has a guest, um, a guest on that starts talking about the chemicals in some of these plant-based meats cause cancer. And that created a sell-off after market that sell-off continued today. And we got this big gap down. So I definitely got lucky here today with this trade. Um, but I feel like all is right in the world because I was unlucky yesterday with the Del Taco news gap up. And then I got lucky today with the news about the cancer causing chemicals. So I truly do believe that if we never got either one of these news headlines, that Beyond Meat would have broke below 160. With how heavy the selling was yesterday morning on the news gap up, I think if you take away that news gap up and you still have that selling pressure, we break below 160 yesterday. Okay, I truly do believe that. I could be wrong. A lot of people might disagree with me and say, oh, Mike, you're biased because you were short-sided on the trade. But I really do believe if we had neither one of these, these news releases, I think we would have broke below 160. Okay, but that's nor here nor there. A little bit of luck, and we get the big gap down here today. Now, this is where things get interesting. I'm going to talk to you guys about this because determining which contracts I'm going to sell first was a topic of discussion this morning pre-market in chat. 150 was the gap fill target. Okay. I said, I thought that this gap down was actually going to get bought up. Okay. We actually talked about it today, pre-market in chat. So I said, I'm going to want to get out of these options quickly because again, they expire today. So every hour that goes by time value is working its way closer and closer to zero, which is going to lessen the value of the contracts. So we gap down to like 153 today. That gives me $7 of intrinsic value on the 160 strikes, but zero intrinsic value on the 150 strikes. Okay. So when the bell rings, the only value that makes up the 150s is time value and extrinsic value. So if we don't get below 150, the value of that option 
is going to work its way to zero every minute that goes by during the day. It's going to start to deteriorate. So it would behoove me to sell the 150 contract first because I have $7 of intrinsic value on the 160s. I can give that a little bit more time because there's, there's more value there than just the time value. Okay, so right off the, the, the bell, we gap down and we push where? Right to 150 to the penny. We close that gap and you get this huge bounce up to 160, a $10 bounce um, beyond me. And then right from the bell, guys, okay, at 9.31 a.m., I sold out of the 150 June 21st put options at $2.85. Again, I bought those contracts at $2.05 on Wednesday, sold them today for 285. And that $2.85 was all time value. Okay, because we were not below 150. So the cop chain, the contract had zero intrinsic value. That's why I had to drop those first. Because on a bounce back, they're gonna lose value a lot faster than the 160s because the 160s have intrinsic value. And that's why then you see at 937, I sold out of the 160 put options at $6.20. And again, I entered those at $2.75 yesterday. So when you add those two contracts together, it's 164% gain. And it was a thing of absolute beauty. Okay. Yes, I got a little lucky. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, but I got, I was lucky today, but I was unlucky yesterday. So I feel like they kind of just cancel each other out. I'm really glad this trade is over with, guys, because I'm not going to lie to you. I was sweating yesterday. It, this is probably the most stressful 164% I've ever made in my career. Um, I'm just happy that this trade is over with um, and luck was on my side here today. But even though I had a little bit of luck in this trade, like I said, I was unlucky yesterday, lucky today. But I wanted to go over this with you because it's a great lesson on, on options. It's a great lesson on how to understand intrinsic versus extrinsic value. And it's perfect timing because the options course is coming out uh, for July 4th. So um, I wanted to take the time and update you guys. I had a lot of people that were already sending me messages uh, yesterday afternoon when they saw the the, the, the news kind of come out about the, the contributor on CNBC talking about these cancer agents. So uh, thank you guys for all of the, the wishes. A lot of you guys were rooting for me. I really, really appreciate the love. I really, really do. It means a lot to me. Um, to have you so many of you guys rooting for me in the trade, even when you guys aren't in it. So thank you for all the best wishes. Thank you for the congratulations. Congrats to anybody else that, that took advantage and, and followed along with this trade and capitalized from it. We had a few people in chat that, that also caught this move and it was a good one. All right. So congrats. Enjoy the weekend guys. I'll see you all next week. Take care.